an amazing, incredible amount of food is wasted in the, in the world. But in the United States, I heard it was at 25%, I think, of all the food gets ended up wasted. And I wondered in the grocery stores when they've got, you know, everything is stacked to the gills and looks beautiful, especially in the produce department all the time, how they can keep all that there. If it doesn't get bought, then, you know, it doesn't seem like it could all get bought. So a lot of that ends up being composted. We saw that on TV the other night. They, uh, they compost it in huge, huge, huge quantities, take it straight from the grocery store to the compost pile. Well, if the, they try to use what they can with as soup kitchens and so forth as it begins to get a little older. Um, there, there are other uses for some things. And I'm sure you've done some of those things yourself. If my milk is a day or two or two and a half days past the expiration date, I try to use it for instant mashed potatoes and it gets nice and hot. And I know if there's any little germs starting to grow in it, then it's likely going to be fine. And uh, and if it gets a little older than that, you can pour it on your some of your pl plants outside. I know that people actually buy milk to pour on pumpkins when they're trying to grow prize, big prize pumpkins. Over a thousand pounds, I think they are. Um, so you can, um, sorry, getting to be that time of day. <laughs> You can take the rest of your milk in the bottom of the jug and pour it on your plants and bushes. I have used it for the grapevine. That's the only thing I've put it on. My grandmother used to take the bottom of the little, few little drops in the bottom of the milk carton, put a little bit of water in there, and water her African violets with it. I think that's where I got the idea. They did real well. She had pretty African violets. Uh, now, as to oil, I would like somebody to tell me if I'm correct. I'm saving, I got an oil story that I won't tell you right now, but I'm, some oil got too warm for too long and went rancid and I couldn't reach it where it was at, so I couldn't use it to rotate it. And so I've got several bottles of oil that are, I think they're past their prime. I think they're probably rancid. They look a little discolored. So I am saving it in case I can put it in a container and and devise some kind of a wick, maybe a cardboard wick or cardboard and paper wick or cardboard and lint wick or something. If we roll it in a coil and put it in a, some kind of a container, a can, and see if I can use that as cooking fuel outside. I'm going to experiment with, with it this summer, but it hasn't been warm enough, long enough to really get out there and do the kind of experimenting I want to do. But if somebody's ever used uh, oil, cooking oil, I know you can use cooking oil in floating candles. I had some years and years ago, and they told you to use cooking oil in there for floating candles. So I know that it will burn, but I um, wasn't sure how it would work for cooking fuel. But I'm saving it in case, you know, that push comes to shove and I need to boil a pot of water for spaghetti. <laughs> if I'm out of charcoal and if I'm out of propane and out of everything else, then I might use my cooking oil. <laughs> might use it to bake bread with someday. That remains to be seen. Might use it to heat up oil to make 86 donuts and 86 holes, and then I will be really glad that I saved it. <laughs> so, uh, same thing with my kerosene. I got kerosene that's gone old, too. Saving it for outdoor cooking, if it's usable for that. And if you needed it for canning, you'd be really glad you had it. So, enough negativity. <laughs> We're hoping these days never come. We're hoping that we're saving up for a rainy day that we'll never sprinkle. We'll never even get a sprinkle from our rainy day supplies. And then we can just leave them behind for our grandchildren. <laughs> so anyway, share your um, ideas with us and let us know. Uh, anything new that you learn, please either make a video or leave a message at the bottom. So think twice before you throw things out there. It might be. A, I, I also had a jar of peaches on here or one of the videos, and it's only 13 seconds long, and so I put everything in the comments. But long story behind that one. But they looked reasonably decent in the jars. They were kind of discolored, but I had canned them 10, 10 years ago. I canned them in 2001, and this is 2011. So they were 10-year-old home canned peaches, and once I put a little cornstarch in there and a little bit of um, cinnamon and vanilla, a little bit of butter, and then made a topping for it out of oatmeal, brown sugar, 
think it just said oatmeal, meal, brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon all crumbled up together and spread that on the top and baked it. It was really pretty good for 10-year-old peaches. It was not bad. So try to think of an alternate use that would be uh, an advantage to you, advantageous to have before you dump it. Just only dump it if you have to. <laughs> God bless. Bye.